it's your boy crypto million back with another one uh what you are looking at here is an example of how the uh rufus chain would work right now, of course this is just a test net but this is an example and i want to kind of touch on that right because a lot of people they, they don't actually understand what the 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 layer two or should i say layer three would actually do for the for the elon um uh, project now you can see here it says what does Caldera do? Caldera specializes in building high-performance, customizable, and application-specific Layer 2 blockchains. These custom-built blockchains offer high throughput, low latency, and customizable features for optimizing the performance and user experience of decentralized applications with the ability to process hundreds of transactions per second and sub-second confirmation time. So, which, which is crazy, right? If, if they allow developers to come and be a developer in the Elon ecosystem, meaning a some type of a token creation platform like we've seen from Solana, well, with uh, Kadera here, uh, Caldera, <laughs> Rufus, should I say, you won't have all of that if you ever used Jupiter, and not even Jupiter, I want to say Radium. If you ever use Radium, then you know what I'm talking about, right? Failed transactions after failed transactions, wallet not loading up, missing out on so many opportunities. So th that's just one thing to focus on, and, 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 and I'm looking at it from, you know, I'm looking at it as far as the future, but... At the end of the day, just the ability to have developers come over here to the Elon platform and develop is a step in the right direction for longevity of this project, right? Really, really showing you guys that that this project is not just here for 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 bull runs, right? It's designed to be here for long term and on longevity, right? So, um, excited, excited about what what Elon community is is kind of like building out. Um, um, for the future of the project and the future of the longevity of the project, especially after Methuselah Foundation kind of left the project. It's good to see that they're they're moving more so to being a meme coin that sort of like has a utility, right? So we don't know how this will look in the future. I just want to make that clear. We don't know how the Rufus chain will look, if they will allow token creation, if you can just build dApps. We don't know yet. But for the most part, we know that it's going to be um, a well-oiled machine as far as the blocks, the block time, total transactions, and the the gas, right? Low fees, uh, fast fast uh, transaction speeds. And you can go check out the Testnet Explorer for yourself. Um, there's been 52 transactions, so people are already starting to kind of like uh, use the platform and, and see how, how everything is works. Get used to it. This is what you want to do. You want to be first to something, right? So let's say uh, the Elon... Uh, uh, a platform right uh, uh, has th their first token in in the ecosystem right well the people that actually know how to use rufus chain they'll be the ones to th that will benefit the most off of off of the the meme coin and uh, the potential growth of the meme coin so again it's still early guys i want to make that clear it's still in test net test that means that they still are working things out but this is a step in the right direction and i think with the daily spaces and um, well, weekly spaces, should I say, um, and just getting more people um, involved in the community. I think they they did something about a uh, uh, um, what's it called um, ambassador program, like we seen from um, the Tectonic token. So um, you'll see a lot more people trying to uh, interact with the community and uh, become that voice for Elon. <laughs> in fact, we're already seeing a lot of new Elon influencers here. So. What I would say is just go do your research on Rufus. Um, of course, let me know in the comments how y'all feel about Rufus. But you can see a Rufus test that runs on Arbitron Nova tech stack. This means that it's an L3 on top of the Arbitron L2 test net. Elon from Rufus testnet can be bridged using native Arbitron testnet bridge, which requires Arbitron Sapola ETH. And if you didn't know, no, Elon is also a, a, a omni chain token. So not a lot of people talk about that because, you know, it's 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 a new narrative and many people don't 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 check out the OG tokens. But you can see here it is on Polygon, BNB, Cronus and also Solana. So th this is this is huge for this project, especially a project that really still is giving you an opportunity to be part of 
uh, the massive move that we could see from 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 um, from altcoins in the future. Um, doubling down on what I stated here, we did come back into the quicksand. We did touch the median, and it looks like we are bouncing off that median and actually looking to use it as support. Um, I wouldn't want to see it break the median, to be honest with you, because everything seems to be so bullish. And then in my opinion, if the Elon token breaks the median on the Gossin channel here, that could spell that it's not actually a strong meme coin uh, in, in, in today's uh, uh, cycle, right? Because if you go go look at the meme coins right they, they, like meme coins been literally going crazy there's been meme coins that popped up out of nowhere right book of memes uh dog with a hat uh uh what's the other one on crypto.com gecko hq like all these tokens popped up out of nowhere and somehow have higher market caps than elon which is absolutely insane but i will post uh point out that not most of them have the liquidity so this is a fair playground for a lot of whales to come in. You know, if whales get interested in, we start seeing whales playing around with some of the OG dog coins or OG meme coins. Um, of course, I would think that they would play around with Elon as well um, because of the high liquidity. And that's basically what what, what, what happens in cycles, right? The, um, the whales from Bitcoin, they start to play around with altcoins. And eventually they start to play around with meme coins as Bitcoin moves a little bit more slower then altcoins and altcoins move a little bit more slower than meme coins. Of course, meme coins are a lot more volatile, as you can see from this move here. Everybody thought the bull cycle was back for Elon, and then um, there was a correction. I will say this. It is important to note that we did cross below the 0.5. So technically, you can say Elon um, is now bearish, right? Bearish as the uh, MACD looks to cross into bearish momentum. Uh, we also are getting a, a bearish... Uh, uh, momentum on the indicator as far as the stock are size so keep that in mind um bearish in my opinion in a bull run means more opportunity if this is a project that you have conviction on right everybody doesn't have conviction on this project and that's okay right and people buy what what they buy of course this is not financial advice you got to do what's best for you so that was a pretty much an update that we did have on elon um, they are doing um, more spaces, I think weekly spaces, and then they actually have an ambassador pro program that they're rolling out as well. So if you are interested in becoming an ambassador of Elon or, or you know, want to be part of a, a speaker, maybe inside one of their spaces, uh, turn on the notification bell, man, and uh, follow the Elon uh, token there. And maybe you can be an ambassador or maybe a speaker in one of their uh, uh, Twitter spaces. But me personally, I look at I like to look at Elon from a technical standpoint. I've talked about almost everything you can talk about with Elon um, in the past. Been covering this project for at least two years now. So, um, yeah, I'll be paying attention if we can hold a three eight two and look to bounce back above the point five. Would love to see this bounce back above the point five. Right. Um, the telling story here will be if it puts in a higher high from here. But we also, you know, we got to look at what's going on in the macro, which I think the macro is bullish. Jay Powell came out and said they're still expecting three federal cuts. So at some point, these altcoins, whether it be Elon, whether it be your favorite dog coin, whatever your favorite altcoin is, will explode, right? Um, as far as price prediction, I know a lot of people ask me how high um, I think Elon will go. I like to focus on market cap. I don't specifically focus on, on price anymore the more you go down that rabbit hole in in, in crypto right being a, a developer now you kind of understand that market cap is the the end and be all and the market cap here for elon is 136 million i feel like a 10 to 20x is still in the cards right anywhere between a one to ten billion dollar market cap i think is still in the cards for elon um but the uh, elephant in, in the room is will developers come and develop on rufus chain right if developers come and develop well, then you you could see this e ecosystem literally explode. There is a lot of competition, though, right? You got Shiba. You got a few other utility meme coins like a Floki. And then you got all the other new meme coins that's coming in as well. And uh, many people would argue and say, well, hey, there's going to be more liquidity in crypto this time around. But I, I don't know, right? I, I don't know. Um, you know, we can't confirm that. You know, we, we're still, I mean, Bitcoin, what, hit? 70 75k it was 72k or something like that and we still haven't seen retail literally have any type of interest in crypto which is which is crazy this this bull run seems to be um tailored around the institutional interest and also uh larry fink blackrock and the tokenization of 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 assets right of tokenization rwa so very very interesting um spot we are in with meme coins right 
Um, but guys, let me know where you think we are in the cycle. Um, this was an update on Elon. Like and subscribe. Are you, you know, big on the Rufus chain? I will. I, I didn't point out though before I cut the video off. They are utilizing the Elon token for the transaction burns. So that's something Shiba Inu kind of fumbled and dropped the ball with, and that's why I I'm leaning towards uh, the Elon ecosystem being a little bit more uh, stronger because the community who's been holding Elon for years finally have a utility for the token. And that's something that wasn't given to the Shiba Inu holder. So, Elon, very, very liquid. I think Wills will play at some point. Uh, one to $10 billion market cap for me, in my opinion. I think this thing will pretty much tap out somewhere between one and $10 billion. But if we get uh, some massive bull run from um, Bitcoin, it could possibly go higher. Just want to keep everything conservative, realistic, because we do have a lot of new people that's coming in crypto. And they need to understand this type of stuff, right? This is... You know, not me playing devil's advocate, but me just being realistic for you guys. If it goes higher than a $10 billion mark cap, hey, congratulations. That's what's up. We need that, right? Uh, I, I'm not going to be mad and upset. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've got other people in, in introduced and involved into the Elon token. So, you know, I want to see them have success as well. So, guys, like, subscribe. Let me know if you like these Elon updates. I will continue to update you guys on this project. Um... Yeah, and um, I'll catch you in the next one. It's your boy Crypto Millie.